what's up so y'all haven't seen me in a minute y'all all know if y'all have already been my subscribers y'all know that i just got a bbl um what two months ago now i want to say september no august whatever it was i just got a bbl and i haven't been back on here really since like i uploaded my bbl journey if y'all have not watched that video make sure y'all go i'm a i'm a I'm gonna leave it somewhere around here or it's gonna be in the description below either way it goes make sure y'all go check out my bbo journey um this video that we are making today as y'all can see by the title is stripper hygiene and i feel like this video alone by itself was like well overdue because we talk about everything stripper and i haven't said anything really on hygiene so why not make a whole video on hygiene right so, without further ado, let's get into it. So, number one being fresh, but fresh, I can't even talk, fresh breath. Like being a stripper. Don't nobody want to, we know that we be in a club drinking and we be turning up and eating and all of this other shit. Don't nobody want to smell Hennessy on your damn breath. Or don't nobody want to smell them damn tacos that you just got from the kitchen. Don't nobody want to smell that. So, with fresh breath, I say to keep you some gum. I, me, personally, I do not like mints. I hate mints because after the mint is gone, it's like a weird texture in my mouth and i hate it and i don't want it so fuck a mint but if you like mint so be it me i don't want no mint i'm gonna keep some gum in my locker or in my um my money bag if i don't have no gum um i tend to see people do like toothbrush and mouthwash when i first started dancing i'm like oh so what we or like, what is it? Because I'm like, I was confused once I seen the mouthwash and the toothbrush. And then I realized that drinking all fucking night long and talking to customers don't match. Once I had like two, three bitches come up to me and their breath was fucking reeking. And I'm like, okay. So they kind of gave me that idea to like keep some mouthwash and a toothbrush in my damn locker. Of course, not after every shot, you're going to go brush your teeth or use the mouthwash. That's why I say keep some gum. Cause gum, I can easily you can rinse your mouth out mouth blah, blah, blah. you can rinse your mouth out with water and throw you some gum in. You know what I'm saying? Or you could just eat some gum, whatever it is. Keep some gum or some mouthwash and toothbrush. Simple as that. Um This is big. This should have been number one. The vagina. We need the vagina to be clean. When I say clean, I'm talking about Keeping some baby wipes on hand. We know as females, our vagina has a moisture to it naturally. So, and especially once you start drinking, me personally, once I start drinking, child, I just can't control the bitch no more. You know what I'm saying? So, keep you some baby wipes. You know what I'm saying? Because if not, then you don't need it. You know what I'm saying? If you if you get me, you get me. Some bitches can't fit in a bad bitch genre. But you get what I'm saying? Keep you some fucking baby wipes. <laughs> like, baby wipes have came so fucking clutch. Especially when you get up on stage. Like, when you know that your turn is coming. And you felt that little moisture that I was talking about. Go to the back real fast. Freshen up real quick. Then hop on stage. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't just get on stage like, oh yeah, that's going to be sexy when you get up. No. No, that's all. No, that's just too much. And you know, you don't even know if you're gonna make money on that stage. Set, so why would you even give them that type of experience? No, go freshen her up and get your ass on that stage. Or like after you do a private dance or just grinding on people, period. People be in a club with jeans on. You don't know how long they've had them damn jeans on. They probably even been to other clubs before you, you know what I'm saying? Like, and I break out so easily, like, and that's what made me start keeping, like, hand sanitizer. Um, 
what else did I say? Hand sanitizer and um oh baby wipes. We already said baby wipes, but hand sanitizer and alcohol. Like the house mom normally has alcohol. So like after I get done grinding on somebody or you know what I'm saying, doing whatever like that it comes with, whatever the fuck, I definitely go back to the house mom and get me some uh alcohol, rub it on my ass cheeks. And rub my thighs because my shit will literally break out in hives because of like me grinding on them and then I've been working all fucking night, the dirt off their pants. Like no. Politely go give me some alcohol. Cause I can't do it with baby wipes. Baby wipes tend to make the back of my thighs break out. So I do it with rubbing alcohol and I rub my legs down. Like get that little dirt up off of me that like just touching people, period, all night long. It's something about it. I feel like I feel like since I was working in a hospital, my hygiene has really changed because, like, now I just feel like everybody is fucking infected. Like, even though the industry that I'm in, yes, the, in my, it's in my job description that I'm going to be touching people. People is going to be touching me. So it's like, ugh. But we're here to make some money. Let's keep it cute and keep it clean. You know what I'm saying? So as long as you're clean, then fuck them. As long as you freshen up afterwards, then fuck them. So... It's all about you. So you stay, you keep your hand sanitizer and you keep your baby wipes and we'll be good. Um, another thing I want to talk about is being smooth. I know some men do find like hairy vaginas attractive, but we're going for the majority. The ma stroke. <laughs> we're going for the majority. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to just be like, okay, well, somebody somebody might walk in here tonight that like hairy vagina. No. The majority is bent on the fresh shaved vagina, the fresh shaved underarms, fresh shaved legs. I don't care if you get waxed or if you shave. Whatever it is, keep everything smooth. You never know. Girl, that damn shadow just scared the hell out of me. I know y'all seen it. But they was getting out their car and I guess she walked past. Whatever it was, it scared the shit out of me. I thought somebody was back there. But anyways, <laughs> we want to keep it smooth. Like, we're selling a fantasy. So we want to give them what they don't have at home. His wife might, a wife, they comfortable. You know what I'm saying? She can have a little hairy leg or she can go a couple weeks or, or whatever the fuck without shaving. You know what I'm saying? But they don't want what they got at home in a strip club. You know what I'm saying? So, more of the story is, I feel like I'm saying you know what I'm saying a lot. But more of the story is, keep it smooth. Keep, I'm talking about, like, keep everything smooth. Like, if you get the hairy, whatever the fuck on your face, wax it, like, whatever. Like, just keep it smooth. Underarms, vagina, legs. Your asshole. Keep it smooth. <laughs> like, <laughs> I cannot stress that one enough. Because I have seen some shit. Working in a strip club, you will see some shit. Like, I have seen some shit. And I think that's what puts me up here and lead them down there. Like, no matter how long they've been dancing, like, you can be dancing for 10 years. But if that one little thing is off, it's like, mm, never mind. We have the booty club. It's all about the booty. Make the booty look presentable. Present presentable. Stroke. Presentable. So, <laughs> more of the story is keep it smooth. Keep it clean. Make sure you have, I'm gonna go down my list again. Toothbrush, gum, mouthwash for the birth. Um, baby wipes for the freshen up shit. Even, you could even use your baby wipes to freshen up under your arms. You've been sweating a lot. You worked hard in this booth because I didn't threw 10 bands on you and you were sweating, baby. Get the baby wipes. Some people even bring towels and soap. But whatever floats your broke, bring it. Um, whatever makes you comfortable, bring it. So, baby wipes, toothbrush, mouthwash, toothpaste, hand sanitizer, deodorant, deodorant, deodorant. I don't care if it's spray on, the gel roll on, whatever it is, deodorant, deodorant. Don't forget deodorant. But anyways, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to try to start posting more. I think I say that in every fucking video. But then shit distracts me and I'll be doing other shit and I'll be forgetting sometimes. So I'm going to try to start posting more now that I have more time on my hands. 
I'm definitely gonna try to start posting more. And don't forget, hold on, wait, like, comment, and subscribe. But check out, y'all gotta check out the new body now that I'm all healed and stuff. Well, I ain't all healed, but definitely, hold on. Definitely give it a body out. Definitely. Who was the doctor you may ask? His name is Dr. Brewster. That's his name. I'm gonna leave his Instagram in the description below, y'all. Um, the nurse that took care of me was uh, Nurse Shani. I'm gonna leave her Instagram down there too. I think I did it in my um in the description of my BBL video, but I'm gonna make sure I leave that information down below. And if y'all looking to get y'all bodies done, I mean it's getting cold, so y'all ain't got shit to do but to sit down and fucking heal. So if y'all looking to get y'all bodies done in the description, it's gonna be down in the description. Like, comment, subscribe. Love y'all. See y'all later.